My name is Bridget Moser and I'm a video and performance artist and my exhibition at Spaces is titled You Open That Can, Now Let's Eat the Whole Thing. The exhibition is made up of a series of two new videos and a new performance piece and um, an installation in the gallery made up of kind of grid walls and plinths and other platforms and curious small objects. I had a really good time during my residency um, and yeah, produced produced all of this work here, wrote all of it, and shot all of it, and performed all of it um, at Spaces. I've been here for seven weeks. This is a seven week long project. The way that I work uh, usually allows me to kind of work anywhere, but what was great about being here was being able to really kind of visualize where things were going and, and get an actual kind of real life sense of, of what the possibilities were, which I think was extremely helpful and not something I always get to do. My background as an artist, I went to school in a studio arts program. And so, you know, I, I tried a lot of different things and it wasn't until my later 20s that I started getting into performance and realized that it was a really good way to make my ideas work and kind of, yeah, make my work actually do what I want it to do. I like that there's also a a space in the exhibition too that is like a literal platform for this like live part, but that that can then be hidden again and become something else while I'm not there. I guess maybe some, yeah, something particular to this performance to me is it feels like, um, it feels very kind of choppy and sharp and like things change abruptly in a way that is not always like um, pleasing or comfortable. Maybe more so than some others, it feels a bit awkward in that sort of way. And I like I like this kind of atmosphere of discomfort. While these things that are like, you know, kind of humor and jokes and, and pop culture references are coming in too, which are kind of, I feel like more, more things that might put an audience at ease. So I hope that there is like some tension between those things. I am really lucky to work with and collaborate with my partner, whom I also live with, uh, who who shoots and who shoots all of my videos and who does sound and does lighting, does kind of everything, and and we've come to find a really good way of working together. Um, and so he v very generously came to Cleveland to help to help make this new work as well. So we had planned for a day long shoot. We spent. 15 or 16 hours <laughs> doing it. We shot it when I had been here for four weeks. And so those four weeks leading up really went into all of the planning of how it was going to go. And so that facilitated that final edit, I feel like. The first thing that I found was this like yellow um, back hook massager. Uh, but I liked that it looked like confusing. Uh, it looks like nothing at all that exists, but um, has like really specific suggested uses that involve like a body and like trying to make yourself feel better and like, trying to relax yourself. And then kind of dove into the whole world of other objects that are designed like this that also look really kind of confusing and sculptural, but that kind of determined the basic like color palette. And then from there, it was about building out other, other kinds of similar objects. Normally when I'm sourcing things at home, I go to like a mall or a department store um, where like I, I feel very comfortable and at home and kind of know where everything I'm looking for is. But because I was coming here, I wasn't sure what that process would be like. So a lot of things ended up um, coming from Amazon, which also kind of helped determine some of the feelings that uh, I was contending with, <laughs> uh, which also is partly what drove kind of the use of the grid wall and the plinths, um, which are both come from very different worlds. Like the grid wall is from kind of retail spaces and used to, to sell things and used as like a method of display in, in kind of commercial um, arenas. And then I think of the plinths as like also being a similar modular display method that exists in a gallery and that those things, when they become empty, convey something very different than, um, yeah, when they're just used as background supports. But it also was really nice because I do feel like, you know, I work a lot totally alone and just like kind of closed off from the world and have a lot of strange ideas that are sort of like, I don't know if anybody else ever thinks or feels this. Uh, and so it is really nice to then 
see that through and then talk to people who kind of connect with it in some way.